hi everyone in this tutorial we will add functionality to each of these widgets okay so let's uh, first of all i think that uh, whenever user changes any of these properties i will have a submit button here as well okay and whenever user clicks on that submit button i need to display my edited image on the streamlit web app okay so just uh, right so let's create here a button okay so just right here st dot b u double t on button okay and uh, uh with the label for this button will be like s u b m i t submit okay and i will also save the state of this button so just right here uh, s underscore b t n is equal to so submit button okay and i will check that if my s underscore btn is true this means that if user clicks on this button i need to process each and everything so first of all i need to apply my resizing and my rotation properties on the image okay so here uh, okay so here I, I will not use this image variable because we are playing in pillow with the image using this image variable okay so here i will write img dot and then i will first of all i will resize my image so just write here r e s i z e resize okay and then inside the resize we need to pass the width and height in form of a tuple okay so just create a tuple here and now as you can see uh, this width and height basically holds our resized image width and height okay so we need to pass here width first okay so w i d t h width okay and then h e i g h t height okay and then i need to apply my rotation property on this image as well okay so here i will put a dot and then i will say r o t a t i u and rotate okay so not rotation rotate okay and then i need to pass my angles okay and uh, where is my degree okay so this degree variable basically holds my angle okay so just right here d e g r w degree okay and i will save this image in this e d i t d edited variable okay and here for now just uh, display this edited image okay so just write here st dot i m a g image okay and then pass your e d i t d edited okay so let's save it and uh, again let's rerun this thing browse file select the file open it and here i think instead of changing the width and height i will change the rotation okay so like for example if i want to rotate my this image on an angle of like 180 degree okay so we will have a revert image okay so just click on the submit and yeah our image has been rotated in 180 degree angle okay so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed it and it's working cool so now let's change the width okay so like for example if i change the width to 100 okay and if i again click on the submit okay and yeah this is the width okay so now our width has been changed okay so everything is working fine and now let's uh, add functionality to these filters as well okay so here first of all i will check that if my this filter is none then i need to do nothing okay but if user has selected any of the filter then i need to apply that filter on my edited image as well okay so here first of all i will check that if my f i l t r s filters is not equals to n or any none okay so if user has selected something and here i need to pass this none in form of a string because select box return everything in form of a string okay and that's why we need to write none in in this format okay and if my this filter is not equals to none this means that if user has selected some filters then i need to play with the filter so i need to apply my filter on this edited image okay so just write here e d i t d edited image sorry uh, sorry e d i t d edited image dot okay and then inside this pillow we have an other module with the name image filters okay so we need to import that as well okay so just right here f r o m from uh p i l pill dot i m a g image f i l t r s filters 
IMPR to import everything okay so just put the star so we need to import each and every filter okay and here I will say edited image dot F I L T R then I need to pass my filter name okay and here uh, we will pass our filter name based on the selection of the user okay so first of all after checking this part I will again check that if my user has entered FILTS filters double equals to maybe B L U R blur first okay so if user has selected blur then I need to apply my blur filter okay so just write here B L U R blur okay and uh, else if f i l t r s filters is equal double equals to and what is my second third option that is detail okay so if user has selected d e t a i l detail okay then i need to apply my detail filter okay so e d i t e d sorry e d i t d edited dot f i l t r filter okay and then i will say d e t uh, T A I L detail filter okay and I will again check E L I F else if okay F I L T R S filters E L S E else okay else uh, I will apply my smooth filter okay so just write here E D I T D it did dot F I L T R filter and then I need to write here S M double O T H smooth. Okay, so let's save it. But uh, here I also need to save the image after applying filters. Okay, so just uh, save edited image again in a variable, and I will say F I L T R E D filtered. Okay, filtered, and then uh, F I L T E R E D filtered is equals to this. Okay, just copy this name, copy it paste it here is equals to and paste it here is equals to and now when uh, here I need to remove this part okay so just control X cut it and uh, paste it here okay and now here one thing that uh, you need to uh, keep in mind that uh, we are actually checking that if user has selected any filter we need to apply that filter but if uh, someone doesn't select the filter and if he just plays with the rotation and resizing then we need to we do not need to apply any kind of filter so here uh, i will say that my f i l t r e d filtered image is equals to edited image first okay and uh, then uh, if user wants to apply some kind of filters he can apply it and then we will update the value of this filtered variable and finally I just need to display my this filtered image okay so just right here instead of edited I will say f i l t r e d filtered image okay and let's save it and now let's rerun this thing and uh, browse file browse any kind of file okay select this one open it and yeah information resizing and now for example let's apply this blur filter without changing their size and rotation okay and now let's submit it and yeah if i maximize this thing our image has been blurred okay so just maximize it and as you can see we have now a blurred image okay so it's cool every filter is working fine so if i select this emboss filter okay and uh, if i change the degrees to maybe like 90 okay 90 and uh, if i change the height and width so let's interchange the height and width so 1280 and then uh, 1920 okay and let's submit it and yeah we have an emboss image okay as you can see our image has been embossed but yeah we have a weird output and this is what this emboss filter does okay so let's create a smooth filter and just click on the submit and yeah now we have a smooth image but yeah again it is not smooth because we have changed the rotation and the width and height okay but yeah we have a smooth image okay and this is how this smooth filter works i hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye